Yo, what's up everybody? This is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again. And that's right everybody, this is the breeding you all been waiting for. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels Napoleon, and he's been bred to our girl Stella, one of our many amazing females we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. Again, this is gonna be your father of the litter, one of our top studs over here at Killinois Kennels. This is our boy, Napoleon. He was produced in-house and goes back to generations and generations of our blood. But look at the head on that monster. This boy's got it all. He's got head, he's got bone, he's got chest, he's got girth. This boy's the total package dog and one of our favorites we have over here on the yard. What you guys are gonna see in this video is plenty of footage of Napoleon and Stella. We're gonna show you some of their productions and we're gonna break down their pedigree really nice for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos or the puppies that we'll have available. And after you guys get done watching this video, make sure you guys go to our channel and watch some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. This breeding is something that we've been wanting to do over here at the Killinois camp for a real long time. You know, Napoleon wasn't going nowhere. We knew this boy was going to be with us forever. So we went ahead and bred Stella Outhouse first. That way, on one of Stella's final breedings, we'd come back to Napoleon. Look at that boy right there though, man. Total package dog, like I said earlier. And we feel him and Stella complement each other really well. That's why we've been looking forward to doing this breeding for such a long time. For anyone that's interested in some nice extreme American Bully puppies, but still have good confirmation, you know, make sure you guys stay tuned to our channel. We got three real nice litters on the ground right now. Last week, we showed you the breeding from Dark Low and Precious. Now we're showing you guys the Napoleon Stella, and we got one more breeding that we're gonna be releasing here really soon. And I can't wait to show you guys that one as well. We've been having a lot of people contact us about using our studs, and Napoleon is one that they ask about a lot. As far as Napoleon stud fee, it just currently went up to 2,000 plus all fees. And yes, he is available for stud to approve females only. What you're gonna have to do is send us some pics and videos of your female. That way we could take a real good look at her. Make sure she's gonna line up good with the stud that you're interested in. Then we'll have you send us a copy of your dog's pedigree. That way we can go over it and make sure they line up blood wise as well. If we end up approving your female, you're more than welcome to come down and do the breeding in person. We'll do a real nice video on it, or we can ship semen worldwide. We can get it pretty much anywhere in the world. So for anyone that's interested in using one of our badass American Bully studs over here, make sure you guys get with us and we'll take care of you. Another thing I wanna mention on here is we don't have any exotic bullies and we don't wanna breed our dogs to any exotic bullies either. We have real true American bullies over here. We don't mix dogs, we don't mix breed dogs. We've been breeding real true American bully blood for over 20 years over here at the Killinois camp. That's not a shot at the exotics, that's just we like to keep it real and keep it pure over here. We're breeding American bullies, not exotic bullies. So again, this is gonna be the father of the puppies that you guys are gonna see. This is our boy, Napoleon. And like I said, we're gonna show you guys some of his productions and we're gonna break down his pedigree. And we're gonna start off with Napoleon's firstborn son, our boy, Killinois Kennels Dark Low. This is our boy, Dark Low here. He's Napoleon's firstborn son. And the reason why we're showing you guys this is we're trying to show you the dogs that Napoleon is producing. We're gonna show you some of Napoleon's productions and we're gonna show you some of Stella's productions as well. So you guys can see why we feel like this breeding between Napoleon and Stella is gonna be a match made in heaven. This champagne boy on the left, this is another Napoleon son. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels Apollo. He's a real badass male. I gotta get some updated footage of this boy. This boy is super nice in person. And uh, that boy on the right is our boy, Killinois Kennels Tank. That's Napoleon's firstborn grandson. 
So as you can see through generations of the blood, it just keeps getting better and better. And look at that boy on the right there. He's not even a year old. Just wait till you guys see the up and coming dogs that we have hidden off of Napoleon. There's that boy ghost in the background. That's a Napoleon son. Now we're gonna go ahead and break down Napoleon's pedigree and we're gonna start off with his father here. This is our boy, Killinoy Kennel's white folks. He comes from generations and generations of our blood and is one of our main studs we have on the yard over here at the Killinoy's camp. This right here is white folks' father, our boy, Killinoy Kennel's Primro, a real badass male with a pedigree like none other. He comes off of our boy, Killinoy Kennel's Rocky, one of our foundation studs on the yard. Rocky comes off of Devil's Den's Viper and our girl Envy, our short shot and steel daughter. So the pedigree is insane behind this dog. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to Primrose Mother. This is our girl, Killinoy Kennel's Prodigy. She goes back to a real nice Razor's Edge combination from Hennessy and Paradise. It's pretty much the same combination that made the Samurai Paco. The only difference is, is you got Razor's Edge Row to Paradise rather than Hennessy to Paradise. Either way, it's going to be a Cairo son to a short shot daughter. This right here is white folks' mother. This is our girl, Killinoy Kennels Trinity. She come off a of breeding between Razor's Edge Primetime, a real badass smoky son, and our girl, Killinoy Kennels Nuisance, a real badass dominator daughter. This right here is Napoleon's mother. This is our girl, Trixie. Another one of the many amazing females we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. We love our males, but we really take a lot of pride in our females and we feel like you can't have a successful kennel without them. Trixie is really heavy bred on the low jack Remy Martin blood. This was a real famous Razor's Edge dog back in his day. She also goes back to this boy headquarters this boy Fonzie, and this badass boy Pokemon. Trixie also goes back to this boy Blue Pride's Easy Rider. He was a real nice producer and ties in to some of our Dominion blood. So that's it for the breakdown on Napoleon. Again, this is gonna be the father of the puppies that are soon becoming available. We showed you some video of Napoleon, we showed you some of his productions, and we broke down his pedigree. But now we're gonna go ahead and move on and show you guys the mother of the American Bully puppies that we have coming soon. This is our girl Stella. She's another one of the many badass females we have on the yard over here at the Kill Illinois camp. We're gonna start off by showing you guys some footage of Stella. Then we're gonna move on and show you guys some of her productions and break down her pedigree as well. This girl is put together super nice. Just look at the neck on her. She's got a really nice head, real big cheeks, you know, super bully chest, heavy bone, and a massive rear, man. Stella is a real nice representation of a show quality American bully. Stella was really close to becoming a BRC Global Champion and the ABKC champion. We had some big breedings lined up with this girl and had to take a little time out of the ring, but here really soon we might get her back in and try to finish her in both registries. We've had a lot of people calling us trying to figure out how they can get one of our pups from one of our upcoming litters. Like I said earlier, we have three litters that are gonna be available here towards the end of May, early June. All these pups are gonna be still available. We do things a little bit different than a lot of kennels. We don't take deposits. As of right now, everything that's gonna be available is available. If we took deposits and wrote down names, nobody that watches our channel would ever have a real shot at getting one of our puppies. So what we do is, is we drop a video of the breeding like we're doing with this video right here. Then once the puppies are at about two weeks old, we get a, do a real nice video letting everybody get a good look at them. Then once the puppies hit four to five weeks old, again, we do another video so you guys can get a real good look at the pups and figure out which one you want. 
by this time we'll have a better idea what um, pricing is going to be we don't price our pups until they hit about four to five weeks old that way we can know exactly what kind of quality we're looking at we don't want to get over on our customers and we don't want to get over on ourselves so after that once the pups hit about seven to eight weeks old we'll drop a video on our channel letting everybody know that they're for sale they go on a first come first serve basis and the pups do go pretty fast the best thing to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you've hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that video you can give me a call anytime and check in on the puppies and we always give everybody a heads up on the date that we're going to drop the video of the pups for sale so it's not really that hard as long as you watch the videos you won't have no problem getting the puppy you want the best way to reach me is to actually call my phone we do not respond to text messages and that's nothing personal it's just way easier to handle over a quick phone conversation if you call my phone and i don't answer nine times out of ten i'm gonna call you back but if i don't call you back don't hesitate to go ahead and give me a call back. Sometimes we just get super busy over here. We get a lot of calls, a lot of messages, and sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything. But that's it for the footage of Stella. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some of her productions. This is our girl, Killinoy Kennels Cardi Bean. She's another one of our really nice up and coming females we have on the yard over here at the Killinoy's camp. This is some older footage of Cardi Bean. She's matured a lot since then. I just seen her the other day and she's looking super nice. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. We got something huge coming up with this girl here really soon as well. She comes off of the Mr. Bean and Stella litter we had and is the litter mate to our boy, Killinoy Kennels Tank as seen here. This is our boy Tank. This is another dog that I need to go by and get some updated footage of. This footage was taken when this dog was super young and he's matured a lot since then as well. I can't wait to go by and get some more footage of this boy. Tank lives with my brother and we just ain't had a chance to make it by there with all this crazy stuff going on in the world, but that will be coming soon. Make sure you guys keep a lookout for that boy Tank. This right here is the littermate brother to Cardi Bean and Tank. This is our boy, Killinoy Kennel Stacks, one of our main studs we have over here on the yard at the Killinoy's camp. This boy is open for stud to approve females only, so if anyone's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. Here's a little clip of Stella and Stax, you know, stacked up with each other right there. I just wanted to insert this in here for you guys. It's something to look at. It's not the best footage of neither one of these dogs, but you can see them stacked up right next to each other. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna break down Stella's pedigree. On the right there, that's her father, champion Lucky Luciano, stacked up next to Mr. Bean, Stax, Cardi Bean, and Tank's father. That's the boy we bred Stella to on her first breeding out. And like I said, that's him stacked up with her father. This right here is Lucky Luciano's father, Gotti Lines Dax, one of the most famous American bullies ever. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and his creator, Ed Shepard. This right here is Lucky Luciano's mother, a real badass female, and one of the many good reasons it is to have Stella on the yard over here. This girl goes back to our own Killinoy Kennels Debo blood, one of our foundation studs we have on the yard over here at the Killinoy's camp. This right here is Stella's mother, Kane Kennel Shaka Khan, a real heavy bred Dax female. She goes back to 217's Goldie and 217's Nunu, which is a Dax son bred to a Dax daughter. But that's it for the breakdown on the Napoleon and Stella litter. We hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button and let's shoot for a thousand likes off of this video. We almost got 30,000 subscribers. I don't think it'll be that hard to hit a thousand likes. And don't forget, we also do got the Dark Low and the Precious Pups that are gonna be available here soon as well. We'll be releasing our third breeding here soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys get over to Instagram and follow us at OG Bully Block Radio and Killinois Kennels. Every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time, me and my partner Kev Green, the owner of the BRC Global, 
We do a live broadcast on Instagram. We have topics. We answer questions. All types of stuff. Make outs for some really good videos. I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and everybody showing love on the channel, hitting that like button, commenting, sharing our videos, telling their friends about our channel. We're coming up on 30,000 subscribers and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. So again, big shout out to all of you guys for the love and make sure you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of real good stuff coming up and thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.